Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 18th of October 2024. I hope you are keeping well. I've got uh, not a very busy day today so I've got plenty of time to play Sudoku. No need to rush. And why should we rush? Because Sudoku is something supposed to take away our time, stop us from worrying about uh, events in the world, etc, etc. Um... So it's going to be a nice Friday. I hope you are looking forward to your weekend as well. Um, when I saw the name <coughs> uh, in the headline, Mitzi Gaynor has died, aged 93, I was thinking, I kind of know the name, but I don't know who she is. You know, different people from different generations remember different things, right? You know, you mostly remember the stuff that you remember that's relevant to your own growing up and development. And I was thinking, I remember my mum talking about that name, stuff like that. And so I looked to see the, the story and then I realized, oh, I know who she was. Uh, and the reason I know that is because uh, I have heard her singing. I heard her singing so many times when I was a kid. And why was that? Um, my family was not really a big fan of shows, musical shows or anything like that. Uh, my dad was a fan of opera and classical music. My mum liked all kinds of things really, nothing particularly uh, cerebral I would say, more into the pop kind of scene. Later on in life she became a big fan of the blues actually when she was in her 60s, <laughs> something like that. My sister was big, who was much older than me uh, was a big fan of uh, Motown or Tamla Motown as we call it in the UK and all of that. So I got a lot of different musical influences. But we did have one record. I'm going to say record. I'm talking about vinyl now for people who are young enough, who are too young to know what a record is, a record album uh, from uh, the South Pacific, which was a film that um, my mum and dad loved. I think one of the few things they shared in common. Uh, and they had we had the album from the movie soundtrack um from the movie uh, of the songs that were there and they played it a lot in my house and everybody seemed to like it and and i did too and um some great songs on there i'm gonna wash that man right out of my hair and uh, so i'm enchanted evening and stuff like that and it's all quite wonderful music really i suppose um but not really to my taste but still uh, brings back memories in fact a couple of years ago i watched i think it was on somebody uploaded it on youtube or something like that, and I, I got a chance to see it again and i seem to remember either at the beginning of the film or the end of the film there was a kind of medley of all of the music uh from the songs just the kind of uh, orchestral version not not with singing and uh as they went through each of the tracks, I was going, oh, yeah, oh, oh yes, I remember that. Oh, yes, I remember that. <laughs> Stuff like that. So anyway, um, goodbye, Mitzi Gaynor, aged 93. And she apparently was in other, lots of other musicals with Bing Crosby and Frank Sinatra and Gene Kelly. So a real starlet, star there from the uh, golden age of Hollywood, I guess. All right, let's uh, get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? This is the Guardian's... <clears throat> hard level Sudoku puzzle. There are quite a lot of numbers to begin with, it seems like. I'm just looking at it now. I see quite a lot of numbers. Uh, maybe because the distribu distribution is very even. Uh, now, that of course doesn't mean to say that it's going to be an easy game. Uh, I think people, learn, beginners to Sudoku are sometimes confused and think that, oh, if you're given a lot of numbers at the beginning, the game must therefore be easy. And I think that's often not the case when it comes to the harder level puzzles. In fact, sometimes I find the reverse to be true. That uh, If you're given a lot of numbers at the beginning, it means there's some kind of logic puzzle to be had. Anyway, let's get on with it. I see the first number now. I shall delay filling in no longer. We've got eights blocking across it, across it, and up there. And that will give me an eight in that square there. Eight down here, eight down here, and eight across there. Let's put some eight into that square there. By the way, of course, they never knew, or who would know, who would have known at that time that my musical taste would be different from all of those, and I would be deeply into jazz. <laughs> 
harboring a dark secret of being a jazz fan. Well, I guess I wasn't quite at that time yet. Eight across here, eight across there, and eight down here will give me an eight in this square. Uh, that's it. Eights are out of the way. I can see two blocking this square and two blocking this square. That will give me a two here. Three six left in this in these two squares, I guess. Uh, okay. I see four blocking here and four blocking here. There's our four. The last squares up there will be filled with five and six. So we got five blocking there. There's our five, and this will be a six. Six this way, six that way, there's a six. Seven across here and seven up there will give me a seven in that square. Oh, since the sevens are highlighted, I should look at them, shouldn't I? I was looking at other things. Let's put a seven there. There we are. Killed your suspense. You were wondering, look, there's a seven there. It's highlighted. Isn't it going to put that number in? And I wasn't really looking at it. I was looking at other things. But there you are. I've satisfied you on that one. We've got two blocking across here and two down here. That will give me a two here. Two down to the bottom here and down there that gives a two in that square one across here and one down there says here's a one one up here and one up there says this is a digit one Missing numbers along the bottom row here are four, five, and six. I spot I've spotted four and six together, so that will be our five there. We've also got fives blocking across here like this. So that's a five. And then we've got five blocking this square, this square, this square, and this square. To give us five here, five blocking down here. I thought that was the last five, but it's not. No, of course it's not. We've got fives left in those squares there. Okay, so what's left over here? Four and six. That's got to be four or six. Could be two or seven. Okay. Uh, if we've got four or six down here, what are we left with? Left with up here. One, two. Nine and we've got a one and two together, so that's going to be a nine. Uh, now nine blocks across here, so that will be our nine. This will be a three, and the last number here is can't find you four.
uh, we have four down here, four up there, and four across there. And then we have four this way, four this way, and four down here. And then we continue with the fours, like this. So four is there, and four across here. There is the final digit four, and this will be a six. Six blocks across here, that gives me a six in that square. Six up here, six down here, there's a six. And six at the end of this row two blocks across here and that will give me a two in that square two up to the top come on there's our two two across this way and up here it says this is a two two down here and down there finishes the twos Missing number here is a one. Missing number here is six. Six blocks across here, across here, and up there. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Those numbers, because they've done their service to this particular Sudoku puzzle. And uh, we'll use them again in a later Sudoku puzzle. This is going to be three three blocks down here, there's our three, three across here, there's our three, three up here and up there, three across here, and three joins the even numbers in being demised, one blocks across here, there's a one, one blocking down here and one across there, there's a one, okay, next we need a five to go here, <coughs> five blocks across here that gives me a five there this is a nine still need a nine there and nine blocking up here will give me a nine in this square seven finishes that block and seven finishes the entire grid so actually I was wrong <laughs> to be hopeful that that will be a hard level puzzle because there were quite a lot of digits no the entirely the the, uh, the reverse seems to be true there. In fact, that was a very easy game. Uh, okay, I'll be back with some other Sudoku later. Take care, enjoy yourself. Bye-bye.